Raising your own chickens is one of the most sustainable things you can do, not only for your diet, but the planet too. Here's everything you need to know to get cracking. Urban hens are just hens that we keep in the city. The purpose of them are, is twofold. One is for the eggs and of course the other is as pets. Do chickens make good pets? Chickens make really good pets. It's not something I expected. My main purpose in getting them was for the eggs. What are some of the misconceptions around hens for pets? There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to backyard chickens. Uh, people think they're noisy, they're not. A rooster would be noisy, and we're not recommending that roosters be permitted in the city, but hens are, they just make a quiet purring noise. You could, I mean, you could see them here, it's just a very soft sound. So they're definitely not noisy. People think they're smelly, they don't smell. Um, the amount of waste product, for example, that a chicken would put out in a week, a large dog would put out in one day. And of course, in the case of chickens, you actually use the waste product as a fertilizer, so it's a bonus, as opposed to something that you have to dispose of, you know, in a green bin. Each chicken, as a rule of thumb, will, will lay about an egg a day. Excuse me? Oh, everybody laid. They're done. In the summer and the spring, it's consistently one egg a day. In the winter, it might be every second day or every third day. And also, as they get older, they'll start to lay a little bit less. Could you hold that for me? Absolutely. Nice and warm? They are nice and warm. On a daily basis, um, all we do is we collect the eggs, um, we top off the water, and we top off the food, and that's about it. Every couple of days, there's a little tray in the bottom of the egg glue that we pull out, and we dump it into the compost bin and layer some leaves on top. This is the egg glue. This is the main part here. This is where they roost at night, and this is where they lay their eggs. So that, that's about it in terms of daily maintenance. I open it up, I take the eggs out, close it up. At night, we, we just have to close off the run part. So in the morning, they come out, they have a drink, something to eat, and they wait for us to open that part of the coop up. It's as simple as that. It's... How much do they eat, and what do they eat? I buy a layers mash for them, and the layers mash um, consists of different kinds of grains. It's about, I think it's about 15% protein, which is what a laying hen needs to eat. They eat, in the summertime, they eat a lot of bugs, so they don't eat as much food. So, on, you know, if they were only eating grain, they'd probably eat about four or five ounces a day. The other thing is, we have no table scraps that have to go, you know, in terms of environment, that have to be taken out in the green bin program. They eat everything. And another common misconception is that grain-fed chickens are better. But the fact of the matter is, chickens are omnivores. They're meat eaters. So I think for everyone who has backyard hens and is saving a factory farm hen from the miserable life that they have, that's that's one better off chicken and you know overall you're getting better food if you have backyard hens that eat a variety of food the layers mash and the bugs the eggs have one-third less cholesterol two-thirds the vitamin a twice the omega-3 fatty acids and the omega-3 fatty acids that they get are actually being converted from the grass as opposed to adding flax or other nutrients so they're much healthier so the purpose of Toronto Chickens and the website torontochickens.com is number one to educate people who might want to have backyard chickens on how they would set up, where they would get supplies, you know, what they need in terms of enclosure, basically, you know, the pet care of chickens. And the other objective in the website is um, chickens are illegal in Toronto right now, according to our bylaws. So the other objective is it's, it's a petition to petition City Hall to reconsider the bylaw to allow a certain number of backyard chickens. And in, in my opinion, I think it should be the same as any pet. If you're looking for ways to make your food and planet more sustainable, urban hens may be right for you.